Cameraman, can we clear there? The parade commander, ASP Haruna Isa Waziri from Cardinal State, was born on 23rd November 1993 and he has BSc in Sociology, a graduate of Police Academy Wudi. Marching forward gallantly to invite the Review Officer and the Special Guest of Honor to inspect the parade. So, Your Excellency, you are welcome to this Academy of Woody Kano. Year 2024, President Fred of Canada is the Assembly of the Six. Comprising of 462 Canada Assembly of the Six. Even of Egad, Commander Fred, Assistant to the General Police, Hamra Isa Waziri. Fred Kogo, ready for this lecture, Your Excellency. Camera man, see motto for your back. This is the special guest of honor. The president, commander in chief of the armed forces, is simply represented by the Prize President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Distinguished Senator Kasim Shutima Gizue. Thank you, Your Excellency, for always finding time to grace our occasions. This is Police Academy Woody. It's almost a year ago we were here to pass out Another set of kids, regular cause five. And this is the passing out ceremony of six regular cause kids, 462 of them to be commissioned today by Your Excellency, the Vice President.
Your Excellencies, distinguished guests and gentlemen, that was the parade review conducted by the special guests of honor, the President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, ably represented by the Vice President. The parade is made up of eight guards, the standard party, and the police band. This parade is commanded by ASP Aruna Isa Waziri, a product of this co police academy within the has BSc in sociology. In from Sabongiri in Kaduna State. I need to inform you again that police band is also made up of some of our cadets who are talented in musical instruments. They are part of the Nigerian police band on display today. Cadet of Police Academy Wudi. Can we please jam our words together to the president, our special guest of honor, for carrying out that assignment? The commander of the parade has just taken permission from the special guest of honor to carry on with the rest of the parade. Yeah, the parade will move in slow, time to quick time, and you're going to enjoy the beauty of this ceremonial parade today.
Can we please appreciate these young ones for putting it together? You can see that God won. He is commanded by the 2IC, Marine Commander and Guard Commander God won. Kedia TSB Nasiru Abutu Yaro. Born on 26 September 1999 in Kogi State, the Kenya local government to study political science. I guess his dad, the retired AIG Abutu Yaro. Sub so, Commander 1, Kedia TSB Sali Sali Mohammed. Born on 10th October 1999 in Petu State, he studied sociology. So, God Commander 2, Aliyu Fahada Maidoki from Gombe, studied microbiology, and God 3, Sub Commander OBU Justice from Abia State, Lumiaya North, and studied chemistry. God 2, Commander. Chukure Divine is from River State and studied biological science. So, God, one commander, Samir Ibrahim Zakari from Jigawa State and studied physics.
Distinguished guests and gentlemen, anytime the standard party passes by, we need to rise and honor this party place. It's very, very important. Thank you so much. So, Jamal is the guy that you the local team of Kukaga, Masi Tu Chochin, and Sumu Chetokusa Doku, Zakutashi, the Munduna, Kirimabawa. Once again, we need to remind us that anytime the standard party passes by, officers on the rank of one and officer and gazetted officer are to salute, while others are to stand in honor of this party. Thank you. Comprises of some of the cadets, who are cadets of police academy. That's why we have a very big policeman here. They have been so talented, and we commend their efforts.
Ja, för det är bra. Jag 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Les années time, the color of party, the standard party passes through your side, you have to rise. While officers are in uniform, are to salute.
We can't do better for them. Come your hearts together for them once again. Thank you. Now, the third uh, guest of honor, we're going to have a seat. <laughs> Your Excellencies, <laughs> distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite to the podium the Commandant. Police Academy Colonel A.G. Sadiq Abubakar, PhD, MNI, to read his speech. The Commandant, sir. Now. The special guest of honor, His Excellency, the present Commander in Chief of Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Bola Ahmad Tunubu, GCFR, heavily represented by the Vice President the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Distinguished Kashin Shetima Mustafa, GCOA, the Executive Governor of Kano State, Engineer Abba Kaburi Yusuf, Distinguished Senators and Honorable Members of the National Assembly present, led by the Senate President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Godwill Afabio, and the Honorable Speaker, House of Representative, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas. The Chairman, Senate Committee on Police Affairs, Senator Abdul Hamid Malam Majori. The Chairman, House Committee on Police Affairs, Honorable Maki El Lema. The Chairman, House Committee on Police Institution, Honorable Barista Alihu Wakil Boyer. 
the Honorable Minister of Police Affairs, Senator Ibrahim Gaidan, CON, FCNA, FCPA, FIMCN, and other Honorable Ministers here present, the National Security Advisor, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Malen Nubadno, the National the Chairman Police Service Commission, DIG Hashim Arugungu, MNI, retired. The Chief of Defense Staff, John Christopher Musa, represented by the Deputy Commandant, Nigerian Defense Academy, Air Vice Marshal SK Aneke, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tauri Lobaja, represented by Commander 3 Brigade, Nigerian Army, Brigadier General M.A. Sadiq, PhD, the Chief of Air Staff, Air Vice Marshal H.B. Abubakar, represented by Air Vice Marshal A.Y. Abdullah, the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ogela, represented by Commander J.R. Adede, the Inspector General of Police, IGP Kayode Adjolu Abetokum, PhD MPM FSPSP, the Chief of Defense Intelligence, Major General Emmanuel Odeni, the Director General of National Intelligence Agency, Ambassador Mohammed Muhammad, the Director General Department of State Security Service, DSS for short, Adiola Olotresin Ajayi, the Commandant General NCCDC, CJ Ahmad Abakar Abdi, PhD, MNR, over represented by ACG Haruna Balazuru, the Controller General Nigerian Correction Service, CJ Halun Nabab, MNR, represented by Controller Adu Inwa, the Controller Nigerian Custom Service, CJ Adwale Adene, MFR, DSM, FNIPR, PSC Daga, represented by ACG Zombi Kaduna, ACG SK Dangam Alajima, the Chairman Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC for short, Mr. Alan Depekun Olukayo, represented by Zona Director Kano Ibrahim Sajali, FSI. Other head of security agencies, the Executive Secretary, Nigerian Police Trust Fund, Mohammed Sayidu, represented by Director of Funds Mobilization and Partnership, Sunusi Aliu Neme Bindiga, MIAD CPM, Deputy Inspector General of Police and members of the Force Management Team, the Provost Nigerian Police Academy, pronounced Professor Salus Adam Ablai. Vice Chancellors here present, top government functionaries, the Registrar, Nigerian Police Academy, Dr. Ekpere F. Izogu, very senior police officers present, serving and retired, deans of faculties, Nigerian Police Academy, staff of the Academy Wing of the Nigerian Police Academy, the Chairman Police Community Relations Committee, Al Haji Mogaji Ibrahim Balanian, the Managing Director of like CEO Police Microfinance, Mr. Habib A. Yesu, tra traditional and religious leaders here present, parents and well wishers, invited guests, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the management and staff of the Nigerian Police Academy, I gladly welcome our esteemed visitor, the President and Commander-in-Chief of Armed Forces, who is heavily represented by the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We are indeed very grateful, Mr. President, for his presence at this event to review the passing out and bread commissioning of regular course six of this institution. The core objectives of the Academy is to produce an ideal superior police officer who is equipped with knowledge and skills to face the challenges of policing in an increasingly complex Nigerian society. 
in line with the standard of the National University Commission, NEC for short, the Academy admits prospective cadets with a minimum of five all-level credits in English language, mathematics, and three relevant subjects. Admitted cadets undergo five-year joint academic and professional training programs, leading to award of degree and commissioning as ASP. The Nigerian Police Academy Udil Kano, which was commissioned on the second day of April 1996, became a degree awarding institution in September 2012. However, the Academy fully commenced degree programs in September 2013 with 17 programs spread across four faculties. All the degree programs offered by the Academy are fully accredited by NUC. The law program of the Academy has equally been accredited by the Council for Legal Education and our law graduates are currently in the Nigerian Law Schools for professional program that will qualify them as baristas and solicitors of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. Since its upgrade to a degree awarding institution, the curriculum content of our academic and professional training programs have been upgraded, leading to introduction of additional courses in both academic and professional training. The core curriculum minimum academic standard, CCMAS for short curriculum, has been implemented in line with NUC directive. The academy is set to commence degree programs in criminology, security studies, and education. Also, the management is studying a report submitted by a committee for the establishment of faculty of engineering. Moreover, three centers have been created. They include the Center for the Study of Police and Policing, the Cadet Career Service Center, and the Center for Entrepreneurship Development. For advanced studies by senior officers and graduates, the Academy has built a postgraduate school, PG for short. The process for the commencement of the PG school has reached advanced stage. In fact, the Academy has already recruited and developed enough manpower for the commencement of the postgraduate work program. The collaboration of the Academy with other institutions, both local and international levels, like the membership of the International Association of Police Academics, are being sustained for knowledge and research share. Mr. President, sir, the Academy is proud to present to you 478 RC6 graduates who have successfully completed both their rigorous academic programs in various disciplines and police professional trainings in confirmation of their worthiness, both in character and learning. All the graduates are qualified to be awarded with degree in different disciplines among them. Seven graduated with first class, 193 graduated with second class upper division, 268 graduated with second class lower division, and 10 graduated with third class and pass. So far, the academy has passed out five sets of ASPs of regular course programs resulting to the commissioning of 2,133 police officers who are deployed to police commands and formations across the country. Our graduates are well nurtured, equipped, and equipped to stand for global policing with the acquired knowledge, skills, and attitude suitable for policing, practical, and scholarship. We promote academic excellence conduct research in the relevant fields of learning and endeavor. We also align our activities to the security, social, cultural, and economic needs of ever-changing Nigerian society and prepare our cadets through well-articulated theory and practice for careers of service and achievement. On infrastructural development, the ongoing project at the academy includes Construction of 500 twin capacity lecture theatre. Additional two new blocks of office building with furnishing for Faculty of Humanities and Law. Tutorial classes, cadet hostel, underground shooting range, 
Amore, a golf course to attract players and the entrepreneurship development center. Other projects executed by the academy include the renovation of senior police officers' maze, the inspector's maze, rank and file recreation center, tutorial classes, staff quarters, cadet hostel, and sport complex. To the graduates being commissioned today, we are celebrating you for achieving a great feat in your career. Congratulations. Do not see or take what is happening today as an arrival to your destination. Rather, see what is happening today as a beginning of a journey. You are being commissioned today to be the embodiment of justice, propaganda, propagator and defender of peace, order and national security. Always do your best to be a good ambassador of this great institution, your family and the Nigerian police force. In every action you take, let honesty, patriotism, fairness, mutual respect be your watchwords. Always remember that your commitment to public service extends beyond the confines of your core duty. It includes, but not limited, to making a sacrifice and commitment to humanitarian services. Your commissioning into the Nigerian police force is happening at a time when Nigeria is faced with lots of security challenges. But with your collective efforts and the Inspector General of Police Policy on the positioning of the Nigerian police for a better service delivery, Nigeria will overcome the wave of the menace hovering the development agenda of Mr. President. Moreover, as a demonstration of your gratitude to the federal government of Nigeria for investing much in you, I urge you to discharge your duty sincerely professionally and diligently. Your exceptional training should, in every context, be effectively displayed in the service of Nigeria, especially in the fight against crime, corruption, and terrorism. Once more, congratulations to each and every one of you as you proudly march into a world that beckons your expertise, moral compass, and unwavering dedication to protect and serve I also congratulate your families who have stood, stood by you and given you all the supports needed to succeed. Finally, I wish to express my deepest and sincere gratitude to our esteemed visitor, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who is being represented here by Senator Kashim Shetima. I apologize for the first call. It was an error. For honoring our invitation, we appreciate your tireless efforts towards addressing the needs and concern of this academy. We appreciate people who made this event successful. The distinguished members of the National Assembly, the Honorable Minister of Police Affairs, the Honorable Minister of, Pol of State Police Affairs, the Chairman Police Service Commission, the Executive Secretary, Te Secretary Tesh, uh, Ted Pond, and the Permanent Secretary and Minister of Police Affairs for their invaluable contribution to the success of the Academy. In a special way, I thank my board, the Inspector General of Police, IGP Kayode Ebetokum, PhD MPM, for his exceptional support and encouragement given to the Academy. I wish all of us a wonderful experience as we witness this historic event. Thank you and God bless you all. Can we please jam our hands together for the Commandant? Your Excellencies, at this point in time, we're going to listen to the address of the special guest of honor, a revealing officer at this special ceremonial parade for six regular course cadets of Police Academy Woody.
Excellencies, Certificate Gallery and Gentlemen, join me as I invite to address this gathering today, Mr. President, Commander in Chief of the Air Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, ably represented by the Vice President, Distinguished Senator Kasim Shatima Gisu N. Your Excellency, sir. Members of the National Assembly present here, most especially distinguished Senator Abdul Hamid Madam Madhuri, distinguished Senator Kaur Samaida, Omar Maki Yaleman, Chetima Ali, Honorable Godwin Opiono, Right Honorable Dr. Mohammed Mukhtar Zandan Kazole, and Honorable Usman Ali Zanna. The Honorable Minister of Police Affairs, Distinguished Senator Ibrahim Gaidam, the Honorable Minister of Housing and Urban Development, Architect Ahmed Musa Dengiwa, Special Advisor to the President on General Duties, Dr. Aliu Modibo, the Inspector General of Police, Kayode Adeola Gretokun, PhD and his senior management team, permanent secretaries, directors general and heads of extra ministerial agencies and parasatels of government present, the commandant Nigerian, Nigeria Police Academy, AIG Sadiq Idris Abubakar, representatives of service chiefs and heads of security and paramilitary agencies present here, former inspector general of police and former service chiefs president, members of the legislature and the executive and security councils of Kano State President, elder statesmen and captains of industry, management, staff and cadets of the Nigeria Police Academy, our dear graduating cadets, their families, guardians and friends, honored guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to stand before you today at this momentous occasion, the passing out parade and commissioning ceremony of the regular cadet for six of the Nigeria Police Academy. Today marks a significant achievement, not only for the 478 graduating cadets, but also for their families, friends, and indeed the entire Nigeria Police Force. This is a day of great pride and reflection, a milestone in the noble journey you are about to embark upon in service to our beloved nation. The event we witness today is the culmination of months of rigorous training, both mentally and physically. It is just not a moment to celebrate academic or professional attainment, but rather a testament to your unyielding spirit of commitment perseverance and dedication to duty. You now stand tall in your immaculate uniforms, ready to serve, protect, and lead. Remember, the badge you wear is not merely a symbol of authority. It is a mark of the trust and confidence that the Nigerian people have placed in you. As a government, we are committed to sustainable growth, and we understand that a nation's development is directly tied to the strength of its institutions. For this reason, our administration remains steadfast in its efforts to ensure that our police force is equipped with the necessary tools and training to protect and serve our citizens effectively. We have already begun implementing critical initiatives, such as the acquisition of new vehicles, communication equipment and forensic tools, to enhance crime detection and protection capabilities. No police force can perform optimally 
without ensuring the welfare of its personnel. We recognize the essential role a motivated workforce plays in safeguarding the nation. Our government is working tirelessly to improve the quality of life for all police personnel and their families. A satisfied and well cared for police officer is essential to ensure the safety and security of our people. We have also embarked on a nationwide recruitment drive to address the long standing issue of understaffing within the police force. This initiative will inject new energy into the force, reduce overworking, and provide more opportunities for young Nigerians to serve their country. A well resourced police force is fundamental to national security, and we are committed to seeing this through. At this juncture, I would like to extend my heartfelt commendation to the Inspector General of Police, IGP Olukayo de Gretoko, and the entire staff of the Nigeria Police Academy. Your professionalism, dedication, and passion have not gone unnoticed. You have molded these young men and women into future leaders of our police force. And for that, the nation owes you a debt of gratitude. To our graduating cadets, I say this. You are now ambassadors of the Nigeria Police Force. You are bearers of the sacred duty to protect the lives and properties of millions of Nigerians. Your role goes beyond imposing laws. It is about striving with compassion, fairness, and respect for human rights. Uphold the highest standards of integrity and professionalism in every situation you face. You are entering a career that will test your character and resolve. The security challenges our nation faces are complex and ever evolving. But remember, your training has prepared you for this moment. Be courageous in the face of danger, patient in the face of provocation, and just in the face of injustice. And in this digital age, policing has evolved. The Nigerian police force must keep pace with modern technology, leveraging data analytics and digital tools to combat crime more effectively. As newly commissioned officers, I urge you to embrace innovation and bring fresh perspectives to the force. Familiarize yourselves with these new tools to enhance both efficiency and effectiveness. And community policing is not merely a strategy. It is the backbone of effective law enforcement. Your success will depend largely on your relationship with the communities you serve. Be visible, approachable, and responsive to their needs. Remember the power of your presence, the quality of your engagement, and the fairness of your actions will define your success, not the use of force. You are now part of a proud tradition. The actions you take will reflect on the entire police force. I implore you to shun corruption, abuse of power, and misconduct. Let your actions bring hope to the communities you serve and reinforce the values that the Nigeria Police Force stands for. To the families and loved ones here today, this is as much your achievement as it is theirs. You have supported these cadets through every step of their journey, and for that you deserve immense gratitude. Your sacrifices and support have not gone unnoticed. Grace assured that the Nigeria Police Force will continue to uphold the trust you have placed in this institution. In conclusion, as you step forward into your new careers, I offer you warmest congratulations and best wishes. Serve with honor courage, and compassion. The road ahead may be challenging, but remember that you have been trained to meet these challenges head on. You are part of something larger than yourselves, and it is your duty to uphold the dignity and legacy of the Nigeria Police Force. God bless you all, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.
Can we please appreciate the special guest of honor once again? Now we want to have presentation of prizes. I want to invite the Inspector General of Police to join the special guest of honor because the IGP has a role to play here. I want to invite forward one of the receivers of these prizes here today, Kedet ASP Chukwe Meze Chisom Fit, best in academic and professional studies. The IGP will do this presentation and there's another prize from the Nigeria Police Microfinance Bank PLC. PLC. This is the girl coming and marching gallantly forward. Jukwe Meze Chisam First in academic a professional study. As the overall best elect officer in academics, a professional studies for the regular courses, Kenneth S. B. Set of the Nigeria Police Academy will be fellow. Let us come forward to receive the award, please. Chisong. The award is accompanied by a plaque. We we'll catch some of 300,000 naira to be presented to her for this she has done. The next one is to be done by the special guest of honor personally and it's to be given to the best all rank cadets. This is to be presented to Kenneth ASP Yahaya Uzaifa Muhammad. Then I call Yahaya Uzaifa Muhammad to come forward for this award. And is to be given the sword of honor. The sword of honor accompanied by a flag with a kai sum of 100,000 naira. Congratulations to you, Yahaya Uzaifa Muhammad. The recipients of this year's sword of honor. Since Regular calls Kenneth Police Academy Woody Kano. Move forward, go straight, and receive the prize. Congratulations to you, best of all, Regular
Why the special guest of honor, the IGPR commander, remains there? Permit me to invite forward the following people to be paid as we have the commissioning of these officers. I call on Kenneth. ASP Abdullahi Musa Saleh. He's from Bono State in Shani local government. Born on 14th of June 1999 and studied management science. The second person to come forward is Kedia TSP Akin Joko Oluabu Sayo of Victoria. He's from Undo State, Undo West local government. Born on 27th of September 2000 and she studied biochemistry. The two of them to please come forward for peeping and commissioning. We are using these two cadets at the point of contact to the remaining 460 to be passing out to be passed out today. The president will commission them as a point of contact to others who are to be commissioned today. Please move forward. The two of you to still continue your journey, please. This is the peak of this ceremony. These officers have been commissioned now by the special guest of honor, President Commander Chief of the Armed Forces. Congratulations to you. The second cadet to please move forward. This girl is an artist. Victoria, I'm sure you're going to do a drawing for the Vice President and send to Abuja for him. Victoria, can you pencil to draw anything? Very, very talented in drawing. Congratulations to all of you, 462 kids passing out today. Then we, as a tradition, Your Excellency, the police authority will present a souvenir to appreciate your coming here today and to be on record that you are actually here to commission these officers. That is to say thank you to you, Mr. President, for gracing this occasion. A talking from the Inspector General of Police. Now, the special guest of honor will go back to the saluting dice so that we can have the three teachers. All right, Commander, Brave! over to you.
Tanzania, Isaacelasi, Kashi Shajima, Dizio E.
Ah, I won't leave Poland. Not so much. There's a joy. I won't leave Poland.
Je vais arriver, je vais arriver. 